Hello, welcome. In today's video, we are unboxing a Duke 10 Banjo Lele and I'm so excited, so let's just get started. The community has been asking for step up ukuleles, ukuleles that you can buy that are on a different level. You're going to get better quality. So here we are looking at better quality ukuleles. Okay, just pulled the instrument out of the box. You're gonna love the gig bag. Look. What? Now that is a modern looking gig bag for a take on such a vintage instrument. How cool is that? And this here around the gig bag is the official logo. I'm excited at how this gig bag looks because it tells me that this is where modern meets vintage. Okay, let's just get to the point why you are here. Here we go. Look at the headstock. We have these gear tuners pointing backwards, which allow the shape to pop out because you don't have anything going this way. They're going backwards. I like that. We have a rounded neck, pretty smooth fingerboard, and the nut looks very small. So the action's really comfortable on that first fret. We have Aquila, super now gut strength. Let me remove that. And then I'll do a few close-up shots of this as well so that you can see it up close. There we go, there we go. In the little package that was attached to it, you get a Duke sticker and then a strap. Where do you strap this onto? I'm guessing one of the tension bars. Hmm. Okay, well that's good because banjo ukuleles tend to be heavier, but you know what? This has got to be the lightest banjo uke I've ever picked up. Oh my gosh, yeah, that works. So I just strapped it on here. I hope I'm not doing this wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm doing it wrong. But I think that works, you guys. In the package for the banjo lele, you have your bridge. So you do have to set it up yourself. There are instructions, and the instructions say measure from the nut to the 12th fret, and from the 12th fret, is where you position the bridge. So the distance from nut to 12th fret has to be the same from 12th fret to the bridge. Let me show you. So we want nut to the 12th, 12th, I cannot speak today. 12th, we want to position the bridge so that that's equidistant. Let me set that up and then I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I've set up the bridge and all you have to do is kind of like pull the strings up, wiggle it under there and stand it up. I know this is an unboxing, but I'm a teacher too, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna pick up the strings, stick my finger under there, and using the thumb, I'm gonna push against the drum head here, or the banjo lele head, and it just, I don't know if you saw it, like I stuck the bridge in sideways and then stood it up. This is gonna feel really scary at first, do not be afraid of it. And then the bridge has these little, little wedges where you, the strings sit so just wiggle them on there and now look at the banjolala make sure that you've centered that bridge and make sure that it's parallel and now measure to make sure that the distance is correct now i'm going to tune the instrument and then we'll listen to it Okay, just tuned it. I'm going to stretch the strings a little bit, retune, stretch bit. I'm enjoying the sound already. In the comments, let me know if you'd like to see the bandolele in tutorials because I am more than happy to use this one now that I have a light one. usual viewers we're not used to having a banjo ukulele here on the set so this is really cool a treat we're gonna call this the head I know we always talk about this being the head but because we have this kind of drum head or tambourine head we call this the head and so these gears that you see here on the side imagine a snare drum or a tom drum like you can adjust the tension you can adjust how tight this is same thing here and we have a tool that comes with this instrument so that you can adjust the tightness and we don't have a sound hole on a banjo uke because we have the sound bounce off of this head. And so that's why the banjo lele has such a unique and different and 
very direct sound it's got that twanginess and you're getting that because you have such a unique head so to be completely honest with you i like very warm sweet sounding ukuleles that's just what i like everyone has a different thing they like but i do play sunshine which is a very very twangy instrument and i think the the bandolera and the banjo are closer to a sunshine right where you have a head on the top and a very direct twangy sound i usually like to keep those separate i will say from playing this instrument that my impression was that it was going to be a lot twangier and it wasn't as tangy as I was expecting. It's a lot sweeter of a sound. That's a lot more pleasing for me because I like the sweet, warm ukulele sound. We do have this like um, armrest here and mine's wiggling a little bit, but I love that it came with a tool to fix that. So let me fix it right now. I will say this armrest gives it a very elevated look. It looks like a very classy, right? Okay, let's talk about the specifications of this instrument. They will also be down in the description box below. This banjolera weighs two pounds or one kilogram. The total length is 64 centimeters. That's about 26 inches. The size of the drum head is 10 inches, about 25 centimeters. And the wooden pieces around the drum head are five ply birch. We have a plastic nut and it is 35 millimeters wide. We have planetary gear tuners with chrome and mother of pearl. The fretboard is American Walnut and we have the Mother of Pearl acrylic fret marker inlays and we also have the position markers on the side at 5, 7, 10, and 12. This is an instrument that you can plug in so we have the LP15 transducer pickup with a standard quarter jack. And this beautiful fancy looking armrest is chrome plated aluminum. The drum head is a polyvinyl and the tailpiece is steel. if you have any questions about this beautiful instrument i'd be more than happy to answer them or find the answers for you if you would like to learn how to play ukulele from scratch or participate in ukulele challenges or see more unboxings and reviews like this one let me know thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope that you will subscribe to the channel and come back to learn how to play the instrument Alrighty, see you in the next one sayonara